Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So do you guys know what time it is? Well, probably if you are able to read the thumbnail and the title of the video, then you know that it is a rank up time. And I need to choose a champion that, uh, well, I know for a fact I'm going to be happy with. I have kind of whittled it down uh, because I do want to rank up a Decay Tactic Attacker. And I do want to do that for a couple of reasons. Uh, number one, I do think that the upcoming Balgrun season meta is going to be quite fun and interesting. And it's definitely going to be a tricky combination because we're going to have to work with Decay Node. Um, and the second meta is going to have Hazard Shift as well. So Bleeding Shock Immunity plus the uh, Sugar Pill, it can be very, very nasty combination. So ideally, I want to rank up somebody that will help me in the next Balgon season as well, as well as somebody that I love and I know for a fact will be helpful in Alliance War and the rest of the content. And therefore, I kind of settled down on the skill class for now. And there is a champion that I kind of feel slightly ashamed that I haven't ranked up already. There are a couple of champions like that in most classes, but uh, most specifically, skill class has a champion that I have no reason not to rank. With pretty much everything else, like looking at Korg, for instance, I have a relatively solid reason because I have a seven star Korg. If I dupe my seven star Korg, I definitely rank to that. Um, you know, similar thing with Black Cat. I love Black Cat, but there is a seven star now and similar with Atuma. Well, Atuma may be a bit less so, but I'm not that eager to rank him up anyways. And uh, the only other champion that I'm kind of thinking that does in fact definitely deserve the rank up is Massacre. But for now, we're definitely going to be taking up Kate Bishop. And the reason for that is, again, she's a decay attacker. She's a phenomenal Balgrons champion. There are a ton of matchups that you can do with Kate Bishop. And I do feel quite bad that I don't have her rank already. If you guys are seeing that my PI is quite high, then that is because uh, I still have some boosts active from doing some Alliance war fights. But yes, I finally have a rank 5 Kate Bishop. I have been hearing more and more and more uh, talk about Kate Bishop potentially being admitted as the best skill champion now. But a few people have asked me that. I still think that Kingpin at the moment is the best skill champion in the game. Uh, but I do think that, you know, Kate and uh, potentially Valkyrie um, alongside Nick Fury are all absolutely exceptional and if any single person says any one of those four names i do think that those four champions stand above i think there's kate bishop i think there's nick fury i think there's valkyrie and i think there's kingpin that's edging out everybody else but if somebody does make an argument for kate bishop or nick fury or valkyrie being the best skill champion i kind of get it because all of them are exceptional and Kate was the last one of those four that I did not have maxed out. So I absolutely had to rectify it. Now I have a rank 5 Kingpin, Kate, Valkyrie, and Nick. And a rank 2 Killmonger, and also a rank 5 Moleman. I must be honest, actually. Um, Moleman rank up, I haven't had a chance to use him much, especially in Battlegrounds, because of the tactics. It just hasn't been his time to shine. I do still really love the champion. I do think pre-bug fix slash nerf Moleman would have gotten significantly more game time. But, you know, things are what they are, and I haven't had a chance to use my Moleman a bit. I should be quite close-ish, I think, to a new rank up as well quite soon, uh, because we are getting, you know, Balgrand Store reset, we are getting Glory Store reset, and I still have quite a lot of glory. And... Uh, yeah, so hopefully soon I can rank up somebody else. I think my next rank up will either be a mutant or a mystic, most likely. But for now, let's see. Now, again, keep in mind, I'm going to show you guys, I do have some boost active. So I have 35% attack increase. And uh, Kate Bishop is a type of champion that does benefit from these boosts. But I do want to see how quickly I'm going to do some of these fights now. So, obviously, activate the pre-fight on Cold Snap. And then just, you know, get to level 1. Do the perfect release thingy. 
and life's good. I also have Winter Soldier Tactic on Kate, and Winter Soldier Tactic on Kate is actually very, 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 very good. So I'm gonna immediately go for my second. Need to punish that, then we need to knock him down. And now I probably need to go to Caltrops for damage. Which is exactly what we managed to do, but those two level ones basically did the job there. And as we can see, the fight lasted three level ones. Man, I love Kate. So that is 51 hits in under a minute. And obviously, the cool thing about Kate is once your damage gets going, you know, the fight is pretty much done because you need to do very little to maintain all the source of the damage that she has. Oh, I didn't activate the pre-fight. This could be annoying. I think I didn't activate it. I think I didn't activate it. We'll see. Oh no, maybe I did. Maybe it counts. All good. Pause this further. Oh, right. I need. I, I think I need to finish sigging her up as well. I don't think minus max sig yet, which I need to rectify. And now we can improve the damage from that cold snap as well. Oops. And refresh the call snap. There we go. Very easy. 47 hits this time. Even less. Even less. Right. So let's end the quest and let me double check if. Well, what sig is my Kate? So use items. Is she max sig? Oh yeah, never mind. At some point I did max sig her by the looks of it. Apparently, evidently. Right, so let's go in the labyrinth. So obviously in the labyrinth you can open her up a bit more. And I do want to take her up against the Star Lord because that's the big big helpful. And again we're gonna start with Cold Snap. And then we're going to go for Caltrops, and then we're going to go for Fragility, I suppose. Because we have no real purpose of tranquilizing this matchup. So let's see how fast can it do this. So again, we just need to get to the level ones. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I love that she does have the AI manipulation mechanics in her kit. We're gonna knock him down just to reverse this. Wait. Reverse this up. Now I do have the cold snaps and we're going for All drops. Luckily, we didn't lose them up. Okay. That's fine. Now let's get that tranquilize. Now, but. And, well, I suppose now we might as well go for the Tranquilize. There's no reason not to. Mm 
nice and refreshed easy peasy ticking down seven six k tick Okay, we probably need to. Is there anything else I can do now? I think at this point we are set up. Like, is there anything else that I can do? Why are you doing this? I mean, well, what does a level three do? I I don't think I have used it for anything ever. Come on. Refresh everything. Easy peasy. And that's just. Hey, wait a minute. You can... Did he just await with two cold snaps on? I feel like that shouldn't be a thing. Okay, I need to refresh off quickly. Okay, that's fine. We're getting the refresh here. All good. Come on then. Well. That wasn't overall the fastest run, but that away surprised me though. How can he away with two cold snaps on? So 187 hits, 3 minutes 46. It's not bad at all. You can see how much that cold snap damage was from the everything total. Basic attacks only consisted of 18% of the damage. 58% came from cold snap, and the 9% was probably cold drops. Something like that. And Kate is a monster of a champion. I absolutely love her. So uh, that will be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will catch you guys later. Bye bye. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about